Hello and welcome to Don's FSD Feature Complete Challenge. It's been a while since I've been posting, but I'm back. And today I'm going to walk through a nice way to use the still in development waypoint features that came with 10.8 for those of us that have FSD beta. For anyone who's been testing, this has been a feature long desired. I want to first show you how to create a route that you can easily reinitiate whenever you want. The way you start is you just pick a point that you want to go to. So let's say I wanted to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and just pick that. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that route. And then I want to add a new route. I'm going to pick somewhere a little bit, a little bit further. So let's say I wanted to go over to this point here. I'm going to add that, but now we'll see how it gets us there. I'm like, nope, I don't really want that. The most recent thing that you add goes to the earliest time. So we just added that. So I pulled up the edit menu. Now I can just move that to the way I want it and that reroutes it. But now the trick here is to leave the edit me menu open. So let's say I actually wanted to go via this route here. So that's going to put that Columbia Street way up at the top. But since I have the edit menu open, I can just drag it to where I want it. So I want that to be my second entry there. And then it's going to route where I want to go. And then let's say I just want to come back to where I am right now. So I would just enter that. That'll bring me back to the current location. But again, that put me you know, way back at the beginning. So I'm just gonna drag that down here. And now I should see my whole route. Now you've got a route, but you can only use that once. So how do you get back to this anytime? Once you get the waypoints the way you want them, just start clicking on each one in the order that you want them to go. So there you have Frederick Street. Now just make that a favorite and maybe call that, put your cursor at the front, maybe call that R1 for route stop one and add to favorites. And then do that for the second one. Put it at the beginning. R2 for route favorite two. Same thing. R3 for Route 3 and then back to the beginning. Make that a favorite. R4, add to favorites. Okay, now you've got all four of those entered in there. Just go ahead and click done. Notice how when I click done, it actually shows the favorite name in the, in the route list. R1, 2, 3, and 4. So all good. Now you've got that route down. Now you want to get that back, so that's pretty simple. So you just, let's say we just cancel the route altogether. Now you come back another day, you want to rerun the route. You're just going to click into your favorites and they should be listed here. Just click the first one, R1. That'll go there. Then you can just go into your edit mode. And the nice, nice thing now is when you do the add here, notice it's adding it as the next one in your stop. So you just click edit, R2, R3, R4, done. Now you've got your route all the way through. And away you go. Go, these are waypoints, they are not vias. So the car will try to stop at each and each location as you get there. And it won't go until you put the car in park. That's only if you can even get to the pin itself. Otherwise, it just tries to reroute back to the same thing. So here's where it's still a little kludgy, but I appreciate the uh, other YouTubers who found this uh, nice little hack. But as you're driving along, you just click to the edit trip and you can X out of the, as you approach a waypoint, you just X out of it. That'll remove it, click done, and it'll reroute at that point to the next waypoint. And then as you get there, to the next one, you just click edit, click out of that, done. And it'll just keep running around until you get all the way back to the, your last waypoint. 
So the only trick here is you need to wait till you're far enough along that once it reroutes, it will take the direction you want to go. So just do that in the last couple of blocks before you approach the waypoint. With that, you now have an easy, simple way to uh, rerun your routes at any given time. So just go to R1, add another stop, add two, add three, add four. Done. And you've got you've got your route. You can run this each and every time. Simple uh, and effective. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you uh, in future videos.